you know what I've been on, you know where I be at Cause men lie, women lie, numbers don't I see that Catch me in a private jet like fuck it with a weed at And this flight attendant got the fattest ass, you know I need that, need that, need that What's good, y'all? It's Undisputed Underground YouTube, Twitter, can you take JT to Don back in the motherfucking building? Damn, I had a good damn vacation. If you all didn't know, I did end up selling my Hapog, and after almost two weeks dealing with King Zero's crazy ass, I finally got this El Gato. So this is what I'm recording with right now. Yeah, I got 1080p recording now, even though it's really not 1080p. We all know how this is on console. But I definitely do notice the slight difference. Even though this game generally looks beautiful, um, even in 720p, it looked pretty awesome, but I still love that I can record in HDMI now, finally, and I don't have to worry about those stupid ass component cables, so everything's all good now. Ah, oh, man. So now I get to record some Black Ops 2, and besides me being on vacation, that was the main reason why I wasn't recording and putting out videos. I did have some Halo videos piled up, and I did have a couple of Black Ops 2 videos on my first day, but besides that, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't really want to put anything out, and I went to Chicago, and I had music. A good ass time and went off of Twitter and all of that and just enjoy my damn self and you know it's what you need to do just get away from the internet get away from your job get away from your responsibilities and just have a good time let me go ahead and get this started real quick oh man black ops 2 let me just tell you real quick about my class and how I have to play this game if you notice in the beginning like I had to camp and as you know that's so against my religion it's against my call of duty religion but I just have to slow my game down, and I feel like a lot of people just need to do that. Uh, running around recklessly, as you all know, in this game does not work because, first of all, so many head glitching spots in all of these damn maps, and second of all, I don't know if you all deal with this, but I deal with this constantly, constantly. Every time I run at somebody, it's about two or three people. I rarely ever meet anyone one-on-one, -on -one. and if I do meet someone one-on-one, -on -one, it's about two to three seconds, just like that right there before someone else runs up so I find myself always getting into battles it doesn't matter there's someone always running up see like that like why do people just run behind each other like that this just pisses me off and I just find that people do it so often in this game and it's very difficult in Black Ops 2 to get these two and three pieces it's very difficult because your ass will get dropped very very quickly <laughs> but as far as my class i'm glad that i finally get to use the setup that i want this is the ultimate rush class in my opinion i love the msmc this is the gun that i'm using it's like the black ops 2 version of the ak74 i have extended mags and quick draw handle on it and i find that i can drop people very very easily i can you know go ads very quickly using a quick draw handle and everything is all good I have lightweight and ghost on. The light man, lightweight on this game is a damn shame. Lightweight on this game is something stupid. It's like everybody's on fucking crack, man. People be on damn crack running around and shit. So I have lightweight and ghost on. Man, ghost helps me out tremendously. I don't even need a damn silencer, even though it is nice, but I I do find that I don't really need a silencer. A silencer would keep me super off the damn radar, but I don't need it. Especially with this gun, I don't really need it. I do put it on there sometimes, but I don't really need it. So, if you want to rush, even though it's still very difficult in this game, uh, getting ghosts at level 55, the very last level, is the best. And I did perceive one, so of course I brought that with me. That's the first thing I brought with me, you know. Fuck everything else. I had to get ghosts just to deal, you know, combat the constant UAV spam because it does get annoying. It's very annoying. But something else I want to talk about because the game has just been out for two weeks. Two weeks, dog. And these people on Twitter, these grown ass people are complaining already, though. Like, people were complaining after two days. I don't understand why Call of Duty is so important. Look at this bullshit there. Like, my, my aim was horrible. Why do people complain about Call of Duty? Why is it so important to you? Or why is it more important than water? Why is it more important than food? Why is it more important than your priorities in life? Why is it more important than your responsibilities? Why do you all act like Call of Duty is the only fucking game out? Why do you all act like that? Why do you all bash David Vonderhaar with a million damn tweets every day saying how much he sucks dick and, and how he makes a horrible game and fix the lag comp, fix the lag comp, fix the lag comp. You know what? If you are tired of the damn game, don't fucking play it. Nobody's making you play the damn game. 
I'm so sick of that shit. You are a grown ass man going in and, and just getting your feelings hurt and about to cry over a damn video game. It's a video game, it's supposed to be entertaining. If the game is no longer entertaining to you, do not play it. What? It's more simple than that. If it's not entertaining to you, if you're not having fun, stop playing the game. Find something else. There are a million games out there to play. A million games out there to play. Stop that shit. You all are grown men. I'm out, y'all. Peace.